morning. This is Barbara from Little Rock. And uh, I know it looks like the same day, but it's not. Today's Monday. And uh, hey, good morning. And so I'm doing a video from out here. And that was Lana. She's coming back from her grocery shopping, I think. <laughs> And Connor's running around out there somewhere trying to find a place to make his daily deposit. And I have exciting news today. Uh, you know, I don't have a phone right now that's working. And so I'm using social media as my outlet. Like call on uh, my iPad to talk to people like on their phones or on their iPads so I can see them. They can see me, blah, 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 blah. I love it. I love it. Uh, so I'm in the pursuit of some kind of phone that actually works because, you know, like I was telling you the other day, uh, you know, I fail and as a result, I have this problem with my face. <laughs> and I've had some funny comments like blonde my hair and put more makeup on. <laughs> Then to distract from my face, you know, to just add to it, which I think I probably could do that. That <laughs> the, there's no pain or discomfort, it just looks bad because that's just that little hole right there. That's where I hit right there. <laughs> but at the time, I needed a phone, and my phone only works sometimes because it's a free phone from the government. Uh, it's called QLink. Anyway. So my sister yesterday got online to order me a phone, so hopefully I'll get a phone within 10, 12 days. Well, during that time, I'm going to be using my iPad to call or whatever. So I'm going to go talk to Chris this morning, who is our concierge here, and he will help me uh, locate some kind of phone service that I could afford and uh, that I, maybe I could use the phone I have so I don't have to buy a phone. I'm going to put this back on here. I thought I had my sunglasses on <laughs> to hide from you, but I don't. And it's okay because I don't notice it. I <laughs> know I'm looking at myself. But uh, I got a request yesterday to write a, car, a letter to a, a gentleman who was, well, he was referred to me from my friend Susie who got the referral from uh, Nicole Cotton, who is pastor at the Church of the Nazarene there in Unsherwood. So I got the address and everything. Well, I'm writing out the card and letter, you know, because evidently he's by himself and he's uh, very unhappy in his health and he can't get out and blah, blah, blah. So, uh, usually I just write and tell him there's possibilities and services and uh, that he really matters, basically. You know, just a little card and then I'll put in a post a, a card with an address and a stamp so he can write something uh, either back to me, which I would give to Nicole, or give it Nicole's address, you know, Pastor Nicole. Now, I'm not a member of the Nazarene Church, but I have visited there a couple of times early on. And uh, and they're, they've got very few members. And, and Well, anyway, like most churches now, they not, can't have church because of this stupid virus. And I should have my mask on, but I'm sorry. I will put it on here in a minute when I go see Chris. So anyway, I look I look up an address. Usually when somebody gives me an address, I look it up if, it, if I can to see if it is a valid address, if it's, you know, any kind of information that gives me where they are in my mind. And this particular gentleman's in Jacksonville, which is uh, not very far from here, you know, 20 minutes maybe, if you're on the freeway. But anyway. And it's uh, Brandon Street. And I thought Brandon Street was where the hospital was there in Jacksonville. So I'm wondering if he's at the hospital. But anyway, I'm going to research that. I'm going to try to call Pastor or, Vic, or Susan, have, Susan call, Susie call, before I send a letter out because uh, I don't want it just falling into anybody's hands, you know. And you never know. You never know. I guess I have to be very protective now that that I've learned a lot being out on my own. 
But anyway, I hope you're having a great day. <laughs> the comments have been hilarious, and I love them. I love them. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, and I, don't, I guess I'll be like this for a while. Yeah, I think I will. I think I will. Anyway, I talked to Joe this morning. Uh, he's our maintenance man. He's not the yard man, but he's the maintenance man. And uh, since Cheryl hurt herself, our resident garden is just dying, just dying without any water. Now, we do have some rain coming in from a couple of hurricanes. I understand they'll be producing maybe some liquid for us by midweek if it travels that far from the East Coast. And, but anyway, uh, until then, Joe said he would pull the water hose and uh, help the garden out for a while. And, uh, and anyway, uh, well, I could talk forever about everything. I was thinking about, about Gary and Janice today. And it's still tender. It still hurts my heart and sad. This is real, but they're not having a service, I understand. They're just going to have some kind of family memorial or get together or something, which is why with this pandemic as it is, you know, to jeopardize family members. But uh, I would love to put the post up on Facebook, but I need to really ask Janice if I can do that, especially to our church in Hardy and Hardy. Yeah. But anyway... I guess I'll just head back and meet with Chris, our concierge here at uh, Christopher Holmes, so he can help me resolve some problems, I hope. Um, anyway, Connor, see him out there? He's way out there. He's looking for some. Well, he hasn't seen any of his buddies at all for over a week. He didn't see Bella at the fence. He hasn't seen Luna, his girlfriend. And he just hadn't seen anybody except Umwa. <laughs> no doggies. But uh, he's trying to stir up some commotion, thinking that if he barks loud enough, somebody will come and see him. But he won't have much longer because I'm moving on. But anyway, I love you. I need, I, 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 I need to tell you to pray for God, uh, Mother Earth as, as hard as you can and for our nation and for the world, really. And remember, God has you in his hands. He may even have him, you in his arms. Wouldn't that be a wonderful feeling to be in somebody's arms like your mama would have held you when you were small? You know? <laughs> Can you only imagine that? You know, that, that reminds me of that song, you know, that guy wrote that was so good. But it's so true, you know. You can only, only imagine. Well, bye-bye for now. And uh, have a good day. And remember, pray for Mother Earth. A-S-A-P. Bye-bye.